external event. So every sure. second of every day, two million things are happening at the same time. Now, if we paid attention to all of them, we'd go bonkers. Yeah, over stability. So we don't, which is a good thing. But think about it. How many of you can now hear the air conditioning? How many of you can now feel the pressure of your bum on the seat? Now that I've just pointed out. How many of you have just noticed, we know you are because you're sitting upright, that you're breathing? So all these things are going on. And depending on what you pay attention to, depending on how you see the world. And we all pay attention to different things. So if two million bits, now, a study in the late 50s showed that actually we can't take it all in. Good idea. Because we'll go nuts. So we all take in what we, what we call seven plus or minus two chunks of information. Bits. We can have to group it together and we take in. So most of it disappears. So we only take in seven plus or minus two chunks. Which is why if you have a presentation, if you're doing anything, the if you're one of these people or you've been if you've been to one of these death by PowerPoints where somebody puts up a slide that has zillions of bits of information just so they get it all in. Well most people can't read it, but in fact no one can read it. Because you can only take in seven plus or minus two chunks of information at any one time. And when you're in a positive, really feeling good, it's seven plus two chunks for nine bits of information. And when you've been out the night before, or you've had a curry, or you've been kept awake all night with a screaming kid or something, you're probably at minus two, if not minus five. Because we can't take in everything. But there are days, you've had them. Those days when you can walk on water. Everything goes brilliantly. You've had them? Never? No. Once? Surely once, there was a day when you were 10, you thought, wow, I can do anything. It might not have happened for years. So that's where 7 plus. In those days where somebody said 2 plus 2, and you went, come out of here, too hard. And uh, those two days. So we all have them. The thing is that often people try and do the most important thing in the world when they're 7 minus. And it never works. It never works well. So the suggestion is stop it. It's a very therapeutic statement. Just stop it because it won't work well. So we take it in. And we take it in by doing three things to it. We delete most of the information. Because many of you have been in a meeting, come out of the meeting with someone else and go, did you hear what he said? Another person goes, at all. Because you're all deleting different things. That's why witness statements are so unreliable, because people are taking different things in. So you delete most of it, goes in the bin. And that's a good thing. The problem is, what I delete and what Linda deletes are different. So we're going to see the world differently. Too early for, there's no such thing as reality. Friday morning. Oh, <laughs> There you are, no such thing as reality. So when someone's telling you that's how it is, the, the phrase they're missing from that is for me. So everything we say is based on us. And just because your pal agrees with you doesn't mean to say you're right. So we delete most of it, hits it in, off we go. Then we distort it. Any of you who have kids or nephews or nieces or whatever, you see these wee block shapes and the wee cube and they have the kids have to get them in the wee shapes and get the, the right shape in the right block, push it through. That's what we do with our brains is we take whatever this thing out here is and we, we twist it and let it in. Because we only have certain shapes in our mind. This looks like this. So we distort whatever's going on to fit how we see the world. So we only take in that which is important to us. That makes sense. So we tweak it. 
because otherwise it can't go in. Just what Karen said earlier, you've got to put this knowledge onto what you already know, otherwise how do you do that? So we distort it and make it fit. So, whatever happened out here, we've already thrown most of it in the bin, because we didn't even take it in. We then distort what did happen to make it fit our model world. So how many of you know someone who a lot of people think is the rudest, most arrogant person in the world? And you think they're all right? Or someone else thinks they're all right? That's because they see something you don't, or you see something they don't. It doesn't make them rude or arrogant. They might be rude or arrogant to you. But that's because their behavior reminds you of something and fits your model of world. You know, there is a rumor going about that all Scots people are mean. I'm not buying that. <laughs> but I do get really grumpy down in London with this 12.5% discretionary gratuity. <laughs> that annoys me. Well, even for a coffee. So we, we distort things based on how we see the world. And then what we do is generalise all Scots. <coughs> We're not talking. And we generalise, because generalisation is the basis of learning. That's how you learn as a kid. When my boy was a couple years old. We are driving around the road and we saw this truck. And he said, what's that? And I went, it's a truck. Good. It was in the days when my son thought I knew everything. Oh, I long for those days. He now thinks his teacher knows everything and I know nothing. key though is because I called that a truck, he looked and said four wheels, thing that moved the truck. So everything he saw thereafter he called a truck until he learned some more distinctions. So it's how we learn. Otherwise how, how would we know anything? We have to apply it to something else. So generalization is the basis of learning. Great. It's also the basis of prejudice. So it has two things. So it's really unhelpful at the same time. People who don't like people who are loud might call them arrogant. Someone else might call them confident. But they're doing the same behavior. So who's right? Nobody. Just how you see it. That makes sense. 